Oh, I'm starting to get my daily routine with this van thing going pretty well. So, I start the morning by just making some porridge in that pan, eat it, pan, pot, eat it, and then I just uh, clean the pot out using dish soap as well as the spoon I eat with, I just eat straight out of the pot. And then I make coffee, then I go for like four hours, then I stop at like a gas station, have a bite to eat, and have a poop, and then I keep on going, eating nothing more in the day, and it's worked out excellent thus far. This is a coffee water brew. Gonna be good, I'll purchase some. Norwegian coffee, I think. Dark roast. The stuff I brought from home was pretty terrible. It, I'd never tried it before, and it was very light roast, and it tasted like, I don't know, sugar, even though you don't put sugar in it. But uh, this is apparently ever good dark roast. No idea. It was relatively cheap, actually, although it's a tiny, tiny packet. Guess we'll try it. Mm -hmm. I've had worse mornings. When you're driving in Norway, you quite quickly uh, gain a very intimate relationship with both your vehicle and the road. Because Norwegian street signage is some of the best I've ever seen. Like there we passed a left turn sign, now we've got the arrow, so that usually means it's a good idea to slow down slightly. But unless you see that, even in this van, I can basically do the speed limit of 80 kilometers an hour, and it's fine. I took that corner at about 70. This is some of the best driving education I've ever received. It's absolutely lovely. Because we haven't crashed yet. And I would never have driven this fast on these roads a couple of days ago. Certainly not. This is a Norwegian street toilet. You find these everywhere, like every 15 to 20 kilometers or so. And let me show you what it's got, because it's quite impressive. So, at first we've got an entirely heated and insulated building, electric light, hot water, and a very well kept toilet. Whoa, man, warp speed! Alright, I've been taking a couple of days break in New Jervik, Norway. I took the time to pimp the solar panel a bit, partially as a bit of a theft deter deterrent because uh, uh, it's going to be annoying to have to scrub all that stuff off uh, if someone wants to steal it and partly because I like the style. I also zip tied the antenna to the panel there because it's been hitting it ever when you go across bumps. So that is bug catcher, that is everything in this van is cheap and old and usually made out of scrap. That's a blatant advertisement and this side brags about the engine, 75 horsepower, naturally aspirated, two-ton diesel powerhouse. Mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, two-seater speed machine. And I'm gonna have to clean this thing off a bit. Because I noticed it's chock full of pollen. And well, it's been performing okay, I figured. I can't do this one handed. And this is so Norway. Teslas everywhere and charging stations everywhere. Something cool they do here is all the electric cars have registering numbers starting with EL as in electricity. 